Uh, Jim Walsh, Food and Water Watch. And, uh, you know, I think we uh, all saw what we expected today is uh, Governor Christie talking a lot about himself and forgetting about a lot of issues that are important to New Jersey residents. You know, last week over 20,000 residents spoke out to the governor uh, telling him that they want him to sign a bill that will stop fracking waste from coming into the state, yet the governor entirely ignored the issue of energy development in our country in this speech. Uh, at this time, we know that there's radioactive fracking waste that's been brought into the state. And despite the concerns of numerous New Jersey residents organizations remain silent on this issue. We need a governor who's going to ask the GOP and, and the country to stand up, uh, not for him, uh, but we need the, a governor and, and a leader for this country who's going to stand up to the special interest who are exploiting our food and water resources for their own interest and uh, leaving the public behind. Uh, Jeff Brown, Policy and Communications Coordinator, New Jersey Citizen Action. Um, I, you know, I think Governor Christie clearly came out talking about leadership and compromise, uh, which is funny because uh, the only leadership I've seen from him is really compromising the future of the middle class. You know, when it's it, whether it's uh, supporting tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires over uh, tax cuts for the middle class, or uh, vetoing bills that would provide affordable health care for hundreds of thousands of New Jerseyans and small business owners, or standing in the way of women's health funding. Um, time and time again, Governor Christie has stood in the way of middle class class prosperity in the state. Um, and I think, you know, un unfortunately, regardless of what he said tonight, which was clearly just, just a myth and a fantasy, um, we have to live with his real record, uh, which is which is not a pleasant thing. Um, uh, you know, the bottom line is, is that uh, Governor Christie has, uh, he's passed a lot of policies that really are not helping out everyday New Jerseyans, uh, middle class folks, um, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, he doesn't take that record uh, to the national stage. Okay, uh, my name is Nate Boone. Um, I, um, I'm from um, IFPT, Local 194, New Jersey Turnpike Authority Union. Um, the one thing about what Christie said um, about the, the educational system um, in the state of New Jersey, what he did, he gutted. Um, he gutted the funding um, to the he gutted the funding to the townships, um, which caused um, everyone's taxes to raise. So by him saying that he lowered people's taxes, he actually didn't. Um, a lot of the things that he was saying was was almost me, was almost mean spirited type. He you know he came across as you know as a bully in this speech. Um, he didn't, uh, he, it was all about himself. It was all about I, I, I. Um, he was talking about how he saved the pension, uh, the pension system in the state of New Jersey, what he just, what he did in the state of New Jersey, he kicked the can down the road. They only put um, one seventh of the, um, the money into the pension system, um, which the workers are still um, paying um, money, um, paying more money into the pension system it, which which the state stole our money um, years years back. Now they don't want to put the money back in. Doug O'Malley, the interim director with Environment New Jersey, and my immediate reaction to this speech is that this really wasn't Chris Christie. This was a mean speech. This uh, you know the the governor kind of sounded like he was ripping uh, you know one of those. Uh, you know, uh, you know, one of the, you know, ripping a, a new one for someone at a town hall meeting as opposed to a national political convention. And what really struck me is that, you know, the governor didn't really talk about the issues, including the environment or energy. And I think a big reason is because, uh, you know, in New Jersey, he, you know, the stances on the environment and the energy for his party and even his own, his own platform is different than the Republicans. The governor has said that he believes in climate change, but there was no reference at all to global warming or the hurricane that's literally hitting Louisiana right now. Uh, you know, that speaks to me that, you know, the fact that the governor wants to have it both ways uh, on the issues. He wants to be able to skate by New Jersey and then be out of state and throwing red meat to the base. You know, I also was really struck by, you know, uh, the up by the bootstraps story of Chrissy's family. Uh, you know, the governor has done a lot in New Jersey to make it a lot harder to get around on public transit. He's killed the Arc Tunnel. He's pushing borrowing off for transportation projects, including mass transit. 
And then perhaps most pertinently, he's raised fares over 20% for New Jersey Transit riders. So, you know, going back in time, Chris Christie's mother would have had to pay a lot more to take the bus. You know, that's, that's a real problem in New Jersey. And, you know, the governor obviously said nothing about fixing our long-term infrastructure problems in this country or Amtrak, which obviously a lot of us depend on uh, in New Jersey. And the Republican Party has, uh, you know, made it a party platform to go after that funding. And, and then finally, you know, the governor didn't really, you know, he didn't talk about energy. He didn't talk about uh, his previous support on the campaign trail for clean energy, like offshore wind and solar. His record in the last year and a half, ever since he's wanted to, you know, run or be part of the national political conversation for the Republican Party, has really gone against uh, you know, his campaign platform from 2009. This is the governor who listened to out-of-state polluters and pulled us out of the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative. This is the governor that, you know, passed a bill two years ago on offshore wind and has done nothing since. You know, so really, uh, you know, his record, even at home, has gotten a lot more conservative and a lot more out of step with everybody. So, uh, you know, I kind of see th uh, this speech as a, you know, this is a snow job. It's a snow job for the country, and certainly it's a snow job for, you know, the Christie record, you know, here in New Jersey. So, and I, uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, most people are going to walk away from this speech and think, man, who is that guy? He seems like he's really angry at me. So I, I, I can only hope that people dig a little deeper and you can get the impression and hopefully find out that, you know, this governor isn't telling the truth.